showing others. If you really want to frustrate them, it's very simple. Create your own, share it with others, bring others into it, watch it grow, and that frustrates these people who love to shit on whatever it is you love to no end. It takes so very little effort. It takes so very little energy. And before you, do, before you know it, you're doing it without even thinking about it. And that's where you should be this weekend, but you're going to have to clean out the negative stuff. Clean out that mental clutter. And just remember, you always have what you need. Always. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for bearing with me. I truly appreciate it. You have no idea how much. I will be back with one of these hidden world cards for you. That'll come up before this video, so I hope you're I hope you'll be there for it. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscriptions. They mean the world to me. More so than anything else. I'm not even kidding you. Thank you for always being you. And if no one's told you, just remember, I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. And as always, shine on. Pauling ad hominem attacks and insults, and of course I checked out of that one too. There's no, there's no talking reason to these people. So, you're going to have to get into a place where you're a lot more reasonable. And of course, in the physical, where, how does that manifest? Well, you got a nine of wands here, you got a knight of cups, and you got a six of wands. So, this completion in your creativity, your creative process, your creative endeavors. This is where it's going to matter, and oh my, one taken uncut, ladies and gentlemen. Not even going to waste my time with them, I'm just going to let that, uh, I'm going to keep the phone next to me, I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize for that, these people just will not stop. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, your creative process, this, what, what this thing is, this thing that you're creating right now, you need to complete it, and you need to stop being afraid of it, because if, it's, if the scale of it is scaring you off, that's a lot of what's leading you to this. Again, no real control over these emotions. These emotions seem to be almost ruling you. And they don't seem to be doing you any good. That's a problem. And right now, your problems are very much in the emotional realm. Because you're lacking that diplomacy. You're moody. You're petty. I mean... There's almost a sense of entitlement here, and I can see it with that Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is the winner's circle. This is where you think you deserve to be, and you can be there. But you have to figure out what's controlling your thoughts, <clears throat> where you're sitting emotionally. Because if you don't get that under control, it can really start harming you. By the way, you probably have noticed that um, the logos that I used to have up here aren't there. I, Like I said in my update video, they were lost. But I am still using um, <clears throat> mugs from those sites. I don't have one for pill.net. Hopefully, the, hopefully they'll uh, send one. I don't know. Then I'll uh, be able to promote them too. Anyway, let's get to the spiritual. See if we get any good news here. <coughs> We got a Six of Swords here, Page of Coins, and the Emperor in reverse. <coughs> the Six of Swords represents moving on. Moving on to something much better. So now we need to take stock of things. We're going to look at what we're passionate about. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I used to be absolutely 100% passionate about official Dungeons and Dragons. Now when it comes to d and I am still very passionate about it. I will run a game when there are like two or three people and they say, hey, we would love to play. I'm like, well, let's roll up some characters and do it. And I'll happily do it. A one shot, a campaign, it doesn't matter. I will do it because I love to play. However, I've had to let go of the official version because it's not the game anymore. Now it's a platform for something completely different. And frame it up any way you like. But I grew up on it. I fought for it. I defended it. I can no longer defend it. However, there are tons of other uh, there are tons of other clones that uh, take the older rule sets and they do something different with them. They clean them up. They reorganize them a little better and. They do so many more wonderful things now. They have so many different, very creative settings. And I look at the official, and I see what it's become. And I just move on. And that's exactly what I've done. I've moved on. And it's done wonders for me. I don't have to sit there and defend this thing anymore. Because the fact is, even if it doesn't have the Dungeons and Dragons official name slapped to it, the game I play <coughs> is still very much the same one with which I grew up. The one that brought me a lot of joy and the one that I want to share to bring joy to others. Page of Coins here. This is very youthful and vibrant energy. Remember, you're looking at what made you feel young in the very physical sense. And what made you feel young is what will absolutely fill you up again. But we're going to have to do something. We're gonna to have to turn away from us being the authority on it. We can rule fairly, but at the same time, it's going to have to, we're, we're, we're being urged to let go of what's not serving us anymore. And the official version just isn't serving us anymore. Some of us. If it serves you well, that's fine. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. For me, not so much. So let's take a look at the hidden worlds and see what we got. We've got the Angel Gate. We've got Mountain Goddess. And of course we got Dawn Watcher. I'm noticing something with these cards. These color schemes have a lot in common. They have some subtle differences as well. Let's look at the Angel Gate. This is about cleansing, healing, and protection. Remember all those negative thoughts, all that negativity that you're, that you're really used to? You're going to have to cleanse yourself of that. And let me tell you something, sometimes it doesn't take anything more than just going out I recommend even going out to the park. Go out to the park, maybe pack a lunch, maybe a book. Grab a park bench, grab a table. I know some parks have tables out there. You can just grab a table, sit by yourself, take in the sights and the sounds, really get deep down into yourself. When you come back from that, you will notice you feel instantly better because you didn't have all that <coughs> <coughs> sorry you didn't have all that negativity in your life it's just gonna make a lot more sense mountain goddess is telling us high vibration mindfulness power of the mind your your mind is controlling you and if your negative thoughts and emotions that emotional emptiness is is ruling you right now it it does it shouldn't be that is putting you into a very very low vibrational state and it's killing you so what are you going to do about it? You can support others in your creative endeavors. <coughs> it doesn't take long to find someone who's into the same thing you are. Or someone who sees what you're doing and is fascinated by it. <coughs> but you're going to need to purge all that crap from you first. 
once you purge all the crap, then it, it becomes very, very easy to take care of what it is that you have to take care of. That thing that you love intensely. <clears throat> you can nurture it. You can take it through that process and watch it grow. It's like having a child. You take that child from a baby. <clears throat> you feed it. You sing to it. You tell it bedtime stories. And then as the child grows, you keep doing that, but you add a little more. And one day, when they become an adult, and you look at them, you can say, that is the sum total of everything I put into it. That is, that is a person that I can be proud of. <clears throat> And if it's not something you can be proud of, then you're going to have to do some, you're going to have to do a little, you know, introspection. Now is the best time to do it. This weekend. <clears throat> do that. <clears throat> All right. So we do have Wunyo. We have Gabo. And we have Awaz. <clears throat> Sorry. My sinuses are just roughing me up. The constant change in temperature is what's doing it. Uh, starting with Wunyo, your raised flag of victory. We're really getting some good news out of this because the tarot has given us a warning, but everything else is telling us exactly what it is to do. So, your raised flag of victory is going to be dependent on what it is you do, your thought processes, your mentality, the way you think and feel is going to be the very thing that leads you from a point of negativity to something more positive. You're going to have to do that yourself. It is hard to change minds. But I've said it before, if you want to change, if you want to change the world around you, if you're tired of fighting battles, you know, with you, change your mind. And it's going to be a focus on the gifts you were given. See, our gifts are funny things. We can develop them or we can ignore them. But if you're going to continue to ignore them, expect a little pushback at times. They're there for a reason. Might as well start using them. And then it's going to be forward movement. You're going to have to get on that horse. You're going to have to go to just a little bit and let it carry you forward. Very simple stuff. Changing your mind. Stop letting the negativity rule you. Get ready for that winter circle because you're not entitled to it unless you work for it. It's that simple. Ladies and gentlemen, victory does not come handed to you. And it never will. And it's going to be time to let go of some things. To move on. You're going to have to accept that some people just come in to shit all over things, turn them into something unrecognizable, claim that it's a great thing, and they will do it just because they can. Once you've accepted that that thing is no longer the thing that you grew up with, you can start to create your own. Then you turn the tables of frustration, because now you can frustrate there, Whoever, whoever's messing up your your thing here, you can create your own, and you could probably even make it better, and then it frustrates them, and that's where that should be turned, frustrating them. Okay, we are back. Good morning, everyone, and there's no way, I, no way in hell I'm getting this out before 11, because quite frankly, it's like 10 till 11 right now but I want to welcome you all back and I just want to adjust the camera just a little bit there there we go right there <clears throat> so welcome back to full scale Fridays you know what I'm thinking I'm looking at the uh, schedule for the next uh, week or two at work and unfortunately <clears throat> since the computer died last week and I got the new one last week um, scheduling is going to look a lot like this. It's going to be shorts. <coughs> Sorry. It's going to be short videos for Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, 
We'll do room casting Wednesdays, and of course a short there too. Uh, we'll also do shorts for Thursday, and then we'll do the full scale Friday. And that's because I work late enough on full scale Friday that I can, you know, come to you with, with a much larger video. Uh, we will be live streaming tomorrow. I do not know if Joe's going to be there. Uh, Joe's been kind of battling some uh, some health issues lately and, uh, you know, chicken soup and the lot. And I hope he gets better soon. I know he's been making the rounds on Twitter and, you know, <clears throat> gabbing with the rest of us. However, I don't know if, um, if he said it himself. He, he doesn't know whether he'll be able to join us, which is fine. We've got a lot to talk about. A hell of a lot to talk about. And I can really only do two hours. I can't really do the five hour uh, marathons that we've been doing. And that's just because, you know, my days off are pretty staggered. So I have to really kind of spend the time wisely. So we'll hang out for a couple of hours. Now, if you want to come on the live stream and talk about just about anything, well then, come on. I will happily bring you in and involve you. <clears throat> and you can just kind of hang out with me and have tea with me and uh, sit back, chill out, and relax. And yeah, we'll be doing all that. Plus, I got some, uh, <clears throat> I can only go a couple hours because I do have some uh, personal readings to do that I had to put off due to the death of the old machine. I still do not have the my uh, video editor back yet. <clears throat> But, I'm going to see about possibly doing something for thumbnails. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. Everything's up in the air. However, uh, the videos are back. So, they're just going to be a little different for, for a little bit of time. Uh, i got some people working with me. Uh, namely, one of them who is also suffering some health issues. Namely, with... You know, some uh, uh, joint pain, we'll put it that way. Ladies and gentlemen, when we get older, we start developing these kinds of issues, you know. And that's just the way, that's the way it is. So I'm letting them kind of deal with their stuff, and I will deal with the channel personally. And I hope that they get better soon, because I would love to have them involved again. Anyway. But you know what today is. Today is, of course, Full Scale Friday. This is what a full reading will look like. If ever you wanted one, or you wanted to give one to someone, how do you do that? Very simple. You run down to my link tree down below, which is going to be there. That is still going to be there. I did manage to save that file. <laughs> the file in my description was saved. Uh, you, go, you go there, you pop onto my Amazon or to my Mophidius, and... <clears throat> the pricing guide is very easily. You send me a gift, I give you I give you one back. It's very simple. Anything 35 and under gets you two readings and a birthday reading. Anything over that gets you four readings and a birthday reading. Okay? Very, very simple. I like to keep it very simple, very direct, and give you more bang for your buck, mainly because I know you have better places to spend it. Okay, so it's a gift idea for either yourself or someone else. Of course, it is not required. You can just enjoy these videos for free, share them with friends, and tell them if they need the message. It's always going to be right here. So let's kick this thing off, shall we? Start with you. Start with me. Start with us. Who are we going to be this weekend? <clears throat> Give me one moment. Possibly a little bit of poltergeist activity in this place. Anyway, uh, I apologize for that. That has been going on for weeks. They call and call and call. And I have to pick up and tell them to effectively fuck off. So let's see who we are this weekend. 
I didn't even get to see the card. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. All right, so some say that today is Frigg's day. Some day say it's Freya's day. Guess what? We got Freya on her day. I think they can share a day, and we can still call it her day. What are we passionate about? What what is something we will absolutely, you know, where's that? Um, I know we all say I'll die on this hill. <sighs> Good grief! Stuff everywhere. Sorry, that was kind of bugging me. Anyway, we all like to have that hill on which we we'll, we say we'll die. Honestly, I don't think we're going to be dying on any hills. I think we're going to be taking hills, and I think we're going to be defending them. But we have to be passionate about those hills, and it has to be properly placed passion. That is the biggest message I'm getting from that card. You cannot defend something when you're overwhelmed, you're stressed out, <clears throat> or you're frustrated as all hell. Remember... If you say, I'll die on this hill, that means you're ready to give that hill up. But if you'll defend that hill, that is something completely different. Understanding what I'm saying? I hope so. Because we're moving on to the guide. So how do we defend that hill? Sometimes we do have to invite others. We have to invite others to join that hill. Now, let me tell you something. I uh, got into a bit of a conversation last night. I ended up muting the conversation because after a while it just became ridiculous. If you're interested, if you're genuine about seeing where others come from, you have to be ready and willing to concede and possibly even talk about that particular thing, whatever it is you're passionate about. If all your if your entire stance is to become contrarian, yeah, I'll share what I can, but once it's apparent that you're not interested, I'm going to check out. And then you'll never hear from me again concerning that same issue. And if you thought that what I have to give you, if you think what the other person has to give you is so good then you're going to have to learn to concede certain points. Concessions will have to be made. I'm really surprised Scotty didn't show up because Scotty is going to be emblematic of, of the all thing, all of us coming together for some reason. Your passions should be used to unite people, not separate with petty bullshit. Let's remember that. So, what can we look to in nature? We haven't really seen a koi fish very much, have we? you got to understand that there's always enough. I can tell you right now, I have, a, I have a great abundance of that thing I'm passionate about. Back in May, if I were to show you the image of what my library looked like, it, it was small. Small, but respectable. And now, I can't tell you how I'm still fitting books into those two bookcases, but damn it, I am doing it. And there are still more on the way, even though I really haven't ordered any in like the last two weeks. I'm serious. I haven't ordered a PDF. I haven't ordered a book. I haven't ordered anything. I've been working on stuff too much to really uh, peruse too much. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm passionate about. What you're passionate about, there's always going to be enough of it. And you will always have the tools and resources to take your point of view and get it across. And get it across well, so that it's accessible to someone else. But that has to be up to you. Let's have a look at your uh, mind and see what's going on. King of Cups in reverse. We've got the devil here. And then we've got a King of Swords. I'm seeing a lot of emotional emptiness, I'm seeing a lot of conflict, and I'm seeing you completely addicted to it. I cannot tell you how relatable that is. 
starting with this King of Cups, this is where you don't have control over your emotions. Remember, you're overwhelmed, you're upset, you're frustrated, and then it leads to the, the rest of this behavior, which can be kind of destructive. That firm hold, that addiction to that behavior, that addiction to that mentality, a lot of negativity there. And then there's this conflict. This is where you should have control over your own thoughts. I know you find yourself at home, and that much is true, but right now we do not have Valkyries. We have, we have Freya here. Not having control over your emotions, that addictive behavior, that's what's controlling your thoughts. And that's the outcome of it. And if your thoughts are controlled by someone else, I had another conversation just recently where not, I think, um, I presented the scientific method. At the end of the scientific method, after you've had your hypothesis, you've get you've gathered uh, you've gathered your information. From that, you've made a theory. From there, you've tested it, and whatever the outcome is, that's demonstrable and reproducible. Those are the two key things you have to demonstrate and reproduce. Then it becomes scientific fact. I was told I literally just made up the scientific method. You're welcome. See, I could be offended by that. But instead, I just posted it. I was like, no, here it is. Simple fact. And it didn't take long for the two that were involved in this discussion to devolve into childlike behavior or name